Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Thank you for coming by. Today I have another haul to share with you. I have a lot of really unique things that I picked up and I also thought I'd show you some of the other furniture pieces that I picked up secondhand for our current home. So if you missed it, I did sort of like a hello again video and I'll link to that because I've had a lot of comments on the other videos I've posted since then saying like, oh my goodness, you're back, I missed it. So I'll link to that in case you want to see where we're at and you know why we made another move. <laughs> and I have a lot to show you, so we're just going to jump right in. This I actually found at a thrift store back in Washington and it was just this square just a piece of fabric that had been lovingly stitched and it was four dollars for the piece of fabric and I as soon as I saw it I was like that is going to make a gorgeous throw pillow. Throw pillows like this at places like Pottery Barn or Pier One back in the day they were so expensive and I made my own using this piece of embroidery art that I found for four dollars and it's just so intricate and beautiful i mean somebody spent hours working on this pillow so it lives happily on my bed i am gonna have to switch it out for the christmas slash winter times it's definitely more spring summer and i left it out during fall because i like it that much but this was such a cool find and i love it and it's so special because somebody made it you know and then i turned it into a pillow so this piece hasn't found a home yet in this house. I found it at a yard sale shortly after we moved here and it's got some dust on it because it's been sitting there waiting for me to find a home for it. But it doesn't have a back on it. It's got all these little pokies. But I have an idea for Christmas because you could hang some shiny brights from here or maybe even like a little mini wreath or just highlight one ornament hanging it from there. I'm thinking of ideas for it, but it was just a dollar and it's so cool. It's got all these really cool carved details on there. So I love it. I think it'll look great. I just need to figure out its living place in my house. So this was such a quirky find. I knew you guys would appreciate this. I had to throw it in this haul. I found my husband a vintage plaid Christmas tie. And this sort of plaid is so back in style now, and it has a matching pocket square. So I thought this was so fun, and it was like a quarter or something like that. And I was really excited to find that for him, and he told me I would totally wear that, so score. So before we made our move, we went and stayed with my sister for a couple weeks uh, back in Washington, and her and I did some thrifting and some yard sailing. And I found these at a yard sale with her. And the guy only charged me $4 for them. They're marked Home Co. USA 1975. So I don't know if they're cast iron, but they're definitely some kind of metal. And these are for my boys' room because we like, you know, doing the whole vintage airplane thing in their room. I found this gorgeous bowl at a yard sale here for $5. And it is heavy. It has weight to it. I've been using it in the kitchen. Right now, I just have some of those naturally scented pine cones in there. I wish you guys could smell them. They have a vanilla cinnamon scent to them. But it's um, at Home America. And it even has like that flat spot so you can lean it, which is great for mixing. Um, and it's just an awesome size. So $5 for this bowl was an excellent deal. One of my favorite things to thrift is books. I'm always looking for books and I have some more to show you that are more decorative. This one was just for fun because I love Christmas, Christmas movies, Christmas books. They're just too fun. And this one is the book that Christmas with the Cranks is based off of. And I'm not normally a big John Grisham reader, um, in fact, I've never read any of his stuff. This is the first of his books that I've read. And it was cute. It's, you can tell they pulled a lot from this book. But anyway, it was fun. I read it in like a day and was enjoyable. So this I'm adding to my Christmas book collection. I found um, some table napkins. This I want to have it ironed yet, you guys. So patience with me. But it's got this sort of, is it hydrangea maybe? 
just a nice floral on a white background. I love the blues and the greens. And then this set of the dark blue paisley is probably my favorite. I just really like that. We use cloth napkins every day, so if I get a set for two bucks and they get stained, it's not as heartbreaking as if I had paid full price. And there's no tags on these, so I don't know where they originally came from. But they're nice, good quality, and I paid $2 for each set. So I found a set of two of these for $4. They're the prettiest blue bowls, and they are so high quality. If they had had more, I would have bought more. They only had two at the thrift store. Um, but it's Royal Dalton Gordon Ramsay's line of Royal Dalton. And if I ever find more, I will totally buy them because I love them. <laughs> I found this entire, let's see, there's five. There's five Paddington books here. And they're the older Paddington books. We love Paddington stories. And so I was excited. This was just $4 for all of these. And they're in great condition, even though they're older. You know, they've got, like, little nicked corners and stuff like that, but I don't care. And look at how sweet they look together, like, just sitting there. That's very fun. And, of course, we'll read them as well. To be honest, I have thrifted so many books since I have seen you last that I'm not even sure I could film it all, and nor would it be that interesting just to look at book after book after book, unless you're a book nerd like me. So I pulled a bunch of different ones from here, and I'll give you guys a good pan of some of the books I know for sure I've thrifted since I've been gone that you might like to see. There's something about building your own library. I gotta tell you, it has been such a joy for me. I have a running list always of the books that I'm looking for, different authors or topics or genres that our go-to's for our family. So when I find books, like a dollar or two, you just can't beat it. I got this one for a dollar at a yard sale. And it's Jane Austen. I mean... Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera and walk you to a few places in my house so you can see some of the things that are already kind of like too hard to move <laughs> for me to show you. And that way I can show you some of the other things. Because what I'm hoping to do is share with you a lot of my Christmas finds in a separate video. And then I can sort of start decorating for Christmas. So last year we were at our house that we built. And the year before that we were at our 1930s little tiny house and so now I'm like I have this 1990s bigger home huge windows like it's like the last you know this Christmas plus the last two years before that I've had different homes that I'm decorating at Christmas so you know it's definitely challenging but it's the kind of challenge I enjoy so anyway I'm gonna stop yapping and grab the camera and walk you around a little bit okay so I wanted to show you these two paintings they're prints. They're not original or anything, but I love them so much. I found them at that thrift store I went to with my sister back in Washington, and they were $7 each, and she said, if you don't buy those, I am. <laughs> so, of course, I had to buy them. <laughs> but they had this sort of, like, crackly finish on the frame, which I actually am really enjoying, that texture, and then these really pretty paintings so here in the corner behind our couch i have a couple things i want to show you the first is this guy right here i got him off of facebook marketplace and he was only 12 dollars, and that's because he's a little wobbly so i have him kind of tucked under the corner of the couch and it holds it in place but i wanted something that had an open um shade so that it wouldn't block visually the bookcase that I have right here and the lighting is a little tricky to film right here because I'm in between two big windows so bear with me but right above that is this great sail boat or I don't know what you would call a fishing vessel boat uh, image here and again it's not an original it's a print but I just loved it it spoke to me I cut it at the same estate sale where I found the tulip uh, cross stitch if you watched my last haul. And so this was again just a dollar. Okay, so I'm here in my dining area. And if you guys remember, if you've been with me for a while, I had black chairs at this table before. And I gave those away before we moved to someone who could use them. 
and got these on Facebook Marketplace for $75. And there was actually five of them in this set. And we just put the fifth in one of the kids' rooms. And we can pull that out when we have guests if we need it. But um, yeah, I really like having the white, bright look in this house. So there's my kitchen. It's a little messy right now because I just did a bunch of cooking and baking. So this couch, I also got secondhand. I found it on Facebook Marketplace and I paid $200 for it. And it's really great. And it reminded me of my curved couch that I left behind in Washington. It has this great tufted back. And of course, I just love this blue. And I <laughs> thought when I bought it, can you get away with having two blue couches? Because I have this blue couch and that blue couch. But I think because they're separated, it totally works. And this one's a little bit of a lighter shade of blue. So I'm saying it works. This was another marketplace find. And the person sold it because of this. And she sold it to me for just $30. And there's a crack there as well that she fixed. And I thought, well, that doesn't bother me. This is a really cool piece. And you can find it online. I think it's like three to $400 on Wayfair right now. So my original thought was I would just fill this with wood filler, repaint it. And I haven't done it yet. I'm just using it. And then inside I store extra blankets, extra throw pillows, that sort of thing. And I just love it. I think it's so cool. So the other piece in this space, which we're calling our sitting room, it's kind of a little bit more formal, is this uh, electric fireplace. This house did not have a fireplace. And to me, when I saw this huge wall, I'm like, oh man, there needs to be a fireplace there. So I'm still sort of dreaming of how I want to make this look built in or part of the house. Um, either doing some sort of faux chimney or doing some built-in bookshelves would be amazing but of course that would take a lot of time and skill and finances so it's definitely further down the line for us and this piece I just have sitting there until I can find a nice mirror to hang up there okay one of the things that I actually did not know existed in the house till we moved in was this cupboard and look at this huge closet. I mean, that's great. And I'm taking you here because I found these at a fundraiser yard sale uh, shortly after we moved here. And they're so beautiful. They're lined and they're really sturdy. Um, they just say made in China on the bottom. So I don't know. I don't think they're like a special brand or anything. But I just thought they were so beautiful. And there's two sort of oval shaped ones and then this rectangular one and then this sort of tall thin one. So I've tucked extra home decor in there, sheets in there, table linens in there. These are the pillows that came with our sofa. I'm hoping to make some new covers for them. And then I have pillowcases, extra pillowcases in this one. And I just love them. They really kind of pulled the organization together for me. So the last thing I'll show you is here in my kitchen. I bought this beautiful bread pan for just, I think $5 at that thrift store that I went to with my sister. And I made some chocolate chip pumpkin bread. It's in there right now. So I am sure there are dozens more things that I have thrifted since I saw you last. And we'll call it caught up for now just because I'm really excited to get into Christmas decor and show you all the Christmas things that I have found. I love vintage Christmas. Just thinking about pulling out all my vintage goodies, just, ah, I'm so excited. If you love this sort of thing too, be sure you hit the red subscribe button and the bell because I was gone so long from YouTube, the bell will give you a notification when I post. I don't really have a posting schedule right now because I'm just making videos and posting them as I have time. So that'll just let you know when I have new content for you guys. I'm so grateful that so many of you have just jumped right back into the sweet and simple home with me. It just, I don't know, it just means a lot. Thank you so much for being here 
and hopefully my next video for you guys will be my Christmas thrifted finds. So you guys take care, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye!